Hello, and welcome back to Foreign Language House's Teacher Toolbox video e-course for foreign language teachers. I'm Catherine Porton, a Foreign Language House um, veteran Spanish teacher, and today I'd like to talk to you about something very important, the effective filter in classes, but very complex to explain. And it's extremely theoretical, so hang on, I'll try to make it as um, interesting and engaging as possible. The effective filter, boy is that a fancy word, comes from the world-renowned language acquisition researcher and writer Stephen Krashen. And Krashen's hypothesis that um, he stated and wrote a book about, about 25 years ago states that second languages really are acquired rather than learned. And in order for students to acquire a second language well, they have to be very relaxed with as little anxiety as possible. Now I know most of you know a lot of that, but today what I'm going to do is give you the top 10 tips for lowering that effective filter or anxiety in your foreign language classroom. Now the first thing um, we'd like to talk about is just having a relaxed environment in your classroom. And often those of us as high performance foreign language teachers, we, don't, we tend to not pay as much attention to that. I know that I fell into that um, situation for a few years, but when I really thought about the effective filter in my students, I really worked hard to come up with some ways to make them feel more relaxed in class. Now, the, some of the best ways to do that are to, number one, designate a very clear target language time so that your students are fully aware of when they need to activate themselves and use the target language for a, hopefully a 90% of that classroom. Number two, post survival expressions, like the survival expressions behind me in Spanish, or teach them overtly to your students so that they have target language they can always go to when they're stalling or they need some prompts. Number three, lots and lots of praise. Your students, you can never praise your students enough for using that target language. Number four, encourage different types of participation, encouraging different types of personalities. Some students who are more extroverted will speak more in the target language, where others who are shyer may write more. And it's important for us to encourage all students based on their personality types and strengths when they try to use the target language. Lots and lots of praise. Incentives, number five, offer your students clear-cut overt incentives. Anything from participation points, bonus points, homework passes for great participation and use of the target language, little prizes, um, stickers for the younger ones, little pieces of candy for the older ones, anything you can do to offer an incentive to students to use the target language. Six, relevant student topics. This is often challenging, but I find it really fascinating as the years go on to keep the topics in class relative, relevant to students, their concerns. You can have them talk about the music they like, the movies they like to go to. Texting has become really big, and I've done some text message exercises in class. Not using real phones, but just the idea of texting really excites students. Anything relevant to them in their lives. Um, you may need to get a student consultant to help you out with this. I know that I do at times. Teach conversational language. Um, often foreign language teachers don't spend enough time teaching conversational phrases and stallers like well, in Spanish that would be pues, but, pero, and other conversational phrases that your students can hang on to when they are stalling. So teaching those con overt conversational phrases is very, very important. I allow my students to chat and socialize if they do so in the target language. This can really be an incentive for your older secondary students. Be silly. Play some games. Um, I find that I need to be silly and loosen up a lot in most of my classes, and this really um, gets the students going. And probably one of the most important things we can do for um, number 10 is to let your students get to know you as a person. And you can do this in the target language. Students of all ages love hearing about you and your life outside of school, um, as long as you keep it appropriate, and they love knowing things about any pets you may have, the type of car you drive, the movie you like to go to, your favorite food, if you have a hobby like sports um, or yoga or even scrapbooking. You can talk about this very simply in the target language and your students really love that. They do love getting to know you 
and it really lowers their anxiety filter the more you reveal about yourself. Again, the effective filter is an abstract concept. Um, it's hard to quantify what the level of anxiety is in any classroom, but if it's you, the teacher, if you're conscious of lowering that effective filter or the anxiety in your students, it will really go a long way, and the more relaxed your students are, really, the better they learn language and the better they acquire it. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please email me or Diane at foreignlanguagehouse.com.